This week I visit my friend Catalia and try out some film in some really heavy wind. Aaliyah, or Cat Aaliyah, is a star of the critter world, I guess you could say. She has a website, Cat Aaliyah's Critters, and she's Cat Aaliyah on Instagram and on TikTok, where she has tons of fun videos involving her critters and 2.4 million followers. Our initial plans involved strobes and soft boxes and drones, but as you can tell, the wind had other ideas. Still, the natural light looked great, and I was not to be fully deterred from using a strobe. My gear for the day worked pretty well, except there was some technical mishaps with the Bronica ETR SI, which rendered it semi-useless, and then I moved on to my Hasselblad later. But as you can tell, I uh, shot a lot on my digital camera today, which is very rare for me in the last year or so. But this is a great situation for digital because animals are true to their nature, uh, fairly wild, and even domesticated animals are very unpredictable. So it helped me keep up with their active energetic motion and also helped me grab focus real fast and while I mostly say that digital is probably the best idea for something like this, you'll see in a few moments why I think maybe that's not entirely true, and a lot of times it just comes down to the photographer. Oh, oh no! Oh! Did they get a good one there? Yeah, oh. Yeah, actually. <laughs> How cute! It was a lot of fun to be around so many different animals that I'd never been around before and definitely never photographed before, and especially so close. And true to her nature, Aaliyah has many, many critters, and they were very well kept. They seemed very happy. Uh, anyone who wants to follow an ethical and really just really good soul who does this type of work with critters, animals, uh, and reptiles and so many other things. Uh, she's a great follow and she's just uh, one of the shining stars of the world who just truly loves what she does and what she works with. And as you can tell, she has a lot of fun with this and it's a lot of fun to see her interacting with her beloved deer and other animals. Next up were the goats. I really enjoyed working with the goats, and I've actually photographed goats before, a long time ago. This particular set of goats had a lot of fun attitude, and they were really fun to work with. You'll notice the kind of harsh shadow line right there. This was not too far off of noon, I can't remember the exact time, but it made it great in the open shade, but on the parts where she would step out into the light, it made it difficult, and I actually found after shooting part of this with my Contax RTS that the film I shot on actually retained the color a lot better in the highlights than uh, even the Sony Digital did, which I found really surprising. And these photos, which I'm, I'm only sharing the Contax ones right now, but these photos made me think that while it was a lot more difficult to capture these moments on film than being able to run and gun with digital, I feel like a lot of them came out just as well, or the final ones came out just as well as they did on the digital, because it's still about timing and recognizing things. And uh, However, I think these uh, smaller critters, the tarantulas and opossums and so on, they are probably best tackled digitally just because their erratic nature and fast movements and the ability to focus at their speed. So uh, while you surely could take good photographs of them using a film camera, I opted for the digital just for ease of use and ease of life and the results are nice and uh, flexible. Use the tool you think is best for the job. By the way, these were edited in Lightroom with Negative Lab Pro's um, Frontier settings, actually. After the critters had their turn, we decided to tackle the wind and shoot some portraits outside where the sun was pretty strong and not in the best position and the wind was really wild. We 
we decided to start a little safe on this little um, pavilion type thing and I enjoyed the scenery and thought it was good anyway so I brought out my 4x5 crown graphic and use the Lomo Graph Lock back for a few instant shots. You can tell how intense the wind is here on her hat and dress. And here's a bonus for models or photographers, especially when you're dealing with situations like this. If your models wear shorts under their dresses, then there's a lot less worry about, you know, wardrobe control. I wanted to test out the impact of the strobe on this scene. So the first one I actually took was without a strobe, despite that first flash that you saw and that was the instax from the lomograph lock without the strobe and it was just natural light and i could have possibly opened up a little bit more but with the wind and everything there might have been motion blur i don't exactly remember my shutter speed but it wasn't incredible so on this one i decided to go on and try flash because instax uh as i mentioned in a previous episode is designed to work with flash direct like in every photo like it's their preference for their for their photos fuji films their instant photos to use flash in every shot so that's what we were doing here and also i thought it would look good i think the results vindicated my thinking and my desire to use the flash in this situation despite the bright sun and the difficulty of using flash with analog equipment and you can see in this comparison right about here that it definitely makes a difference and instant film especially instax tends to have a very narrow dynamic range much like slide film which you're seeing right here ectochrome 100 which is what we shot next okay cool okay doing bts with a camcorder are you recording i am Date and time, January 1st, 1991. Wow! I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 11 and I'm doing this. <laughs> oh, it's the 90s, like we always said in the 90s. <laughs> Why, well, yes, I did record this entire BTS segment on a 1991 Panasonic Omnivision VHS camcorder. It was kind of fun, even though I definitely should have had a tripod on with it, but, you know. Uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun to try out and just to get a different look. I dragged my Godox 8600 Pro out there along with my Hasselblad and 40mm CF FLE lens, which I have quickly rediscovered is still one of my very favorite lenses of all time. Speaking of goats, become a patron to help support this channel like the amazing people on the screen right here. For as little as a dollar a month, you can support my channel and what I do and I am eternally grateful. There's a link in the description showing how you can do it or follow that link you see on the screen. Thank you so much. So these days when you're in a situation like this, you have a choice of using a standard light meter to get your flash exposure or a digital camera. I couldn't get a full true exposure idea because I intended to shoot this at 1 500th of a second and take advantage of the leaf shutter sync speed which is double the Sony's 1 2 50th of a second or so, but still I could get my flash exposure, which I chose to do to get the new school Polaroid style preview. And I am pretty pleased with how that came out. Shooting on Ektachrome is not the most forgiving thing in the world, so you don't want to miss by much. I think I could have done a similar job with the flash meter, but it's a great option for those who just want a little added security for that slide film. And like I mentioned, it's really much like the old days when there was instant film for doing previews on flash exposures. And once again, I completely love E100, that 40 millimeter Hasselblad lens, Hasselblad in general, square format, dramatic light, flash mixed with dramatic light. And it, it's just, I'm super thrilled with how these came out. I had some focusing issues because of prism quality and my eyesight but I'm slowly rectifying those and you can see the incredible detail and just beauty that you can capture when you have a lot of great elements, including a great model put together. Speaking of great models, follow Kat Aaliyah on various and every platform, especially YouTube and TikTok, and follow me as well. Subscribe, turn on notifications, like this video, comment on it, and I will see you again very soon. Thank you.